Hello friends, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you one of the important modeling techniques. Um, that is sweep. It's one of the major modeling basics that you have to know. There is no way you can model successfully without using sweep. And um, this is the this is where you can locate it under components then you select model in place you can select any of these I always like to use case work and click OK you can give it a name as I give it a name, I'll use concrete fascia. Okay, then here I'm going to select sweep. Then I'm going to go to roof plan. There are two ways you can go about it. You can select the 3D. And you can also select it on the floor plan, but there are different approaches to it. In this particular way we want to do it, we are going to use floor plan. So we use the roof plan to sketch the, the path. Let's go to the roof plan. We are on the roof plan now. Then you click on sketch. I am going to use pick. Then where you are going to start your drawing should be where you want to focus when you are going to sketch out the section, the cross section. So I'm going to start from here so that when I'm going to do my cross section, I'm going to look at the, the front view. So I click here, I'll now go round, round, okay, now I'm going to finish it. The next thing is I'll click on edit profile. Then you can select any of this view, but from where I started from, my approach will be better. So I'm going to use approach. You can see this is the this is the point. So I'm going to make sure whatever you are sketching should be within this point. If you sketch on this area, it will not work. If you sketch somewhere here, it will not work. It should be along this axis. So before you start sketching, make sure you locate this, this point before you start sketching. So I'm going to start from here. First of all, I want to make it curve, so I'm going to go in by 100, press enter, I'm going to come down by 75, I'm going to go in again by 75, then I'm going to come down by 75, I'll finish that at that level then I'm going to start another one from here first of all let let me check the, the height I want to use here this is 350 I would love it to be 500 mm thick so let me confirm the height okay this is 508 so let's select make it 500 exactly so i'm going to delete the dimension line then i'll pick line again i will i want to make sure it's 
This one is 75. It's giving me a warning. No water. I'm going to settle that. 75 again. And then I'll go out by 75. Then at this point, I want it to be curved. Let's let me take this out a little. Let's go out. I will go out by. Let's make this one to be something like two to five. It's going to give it a better look. Let's make this. Sorry, the dimension is obstructing my view, so I'm going to reduce my scale. Okay, no problem, I'll do that later. I want to make this to be two to five. Two to five. All right. Okay. Then this should be. Let me delete this. Let me train. I think I've given. I'll show you how to. Use shortcuts. And I'm sure this is on the five. Okay. Let me be sure it's on the five. All right. Okay. I will make this also on the five. Then I'm going to use curve now. This is the curve I normally use. I don't want it to be too deep. I think this is okay. Then make sure the the line is connected fully. I'm going to use stream to connect this and my shortcut for trim is TR. You can use, you can customize it if you like. Uh, I have a video on how to use a custom shortcut, how to create a, a custom shortcut. Let me delete this dimension for now. Okay. Then the material, you select the material you want to use. This is the material I want to use. I name it as coping. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to leave that for now. The material is settled. Let's finish it at this level. Okay, the line are overlapping. That was the line that was here before. Let me delete it. Okay, let me finish it now. All right, it's finished. Okay, you can see it is fine. I use my shortcut to view the 3D. My shortcut for 3D is just 3D. I type 3 and D. That's all. Alright. I think it's fine. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Alright. So that is how you use sweep to create concrete fascia. Okay, I think it's clean. Okay, the next modeling 
basic we want to you want to look at is extrusion now how, what do you use extrusion for the ways you can use extrusion like this first copying you can use extrusion you can also use sweep then like a step like this i normally use extrusion so how do you do that let me give you an example to that let's go to the front view okay i'm on the front view so i'm going to select I'm going to use shortcut. My shortcut for modeling in place is MD. All right, click. Let me give it a name. Step. Then I will click on create extrusion. It is asking me to pick a plane where I want to draw the cross section. So I click OK. Then when you are picking a plane, make sure you off this. You on this, sorry, you on it so that you'll be able to pick the plane that is directly facing you. Look at it. If I if this is on or if this is off, if you want to pick a plane, you cannot pick a plane that is directly facing you. Rather, you'll be picking a plane that is showing at an edge. So I'm going to off this one so that I'll be able to pick this solution. Okay, I think this plane is okay. Then I'm going to sketch now. This is my zero level. As I'm going to have a step that is 900 mm long pipe. I'll go up by 150. I'll go down by 300. And I'll go up by 150. I'll go right by 300. Like that. Okay. I think I'm okay with this. Right. I'm going to select the material. Make sure you select the material so that when you are rendering, you have the right material you want to use. You will not use a material for roof as the step. Okay, I've created a material for that. So I'm going to select that and click finish. Then let's look at it 3D. Let's type 3D. So this is where we have it. It's just a question of stretching this. And you can move it to wherever you want to move it to. If I want to move this, I'll go to the floor plan. Oh no, it's not shown on this level. So let me go to the level okay ngl it should be on this level yeah it's shown on this level so i'm going to grab it and move it make sure it's constrained so i'm going to select this joint so that i'll be able to move it oh no i don't want to delete it okay let me copy it Okay, then you can now select it. 
you can select it there are so many things there so i'm going to use tab to cycle through them okay let me move it since it's jumping Okay, so I'm going to delete the original one now. So that is how you do it. You can copy it to wherever you want to copy it to. I think you enjoy this tutorial. If you like it, I want you to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. I have training on how to use Revit, a complete training. So you can register for it and get all my videos and tutorial and I also have tutorial on how to use Photoshop and 3ds Max. So make sure you register for it so that you can get a complete tutorial and you can also Ask me any question anytime you run into any problem. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. In the next video, we will look at how to use other modeling techniques. Like... You have blend, you have revolve, and you have swift blend. So, in the next video, we'll be looking at blend. Thank you. See you again. Bye for now.